Good morning everyone. It's actually 2.30 a.m. and I am here trying to catch squids. Let me show you what I have for bait. I have this lure right here. Look at this. It's barbless. So once you get a bite, you need to you need to keep a constant pressure so you don't lose your squid. This is where I'm at, right here. It's let me show you. Oh, look at this. What is that? That is a big, big lionfish. It's after bait fish. Interesting. Okay, sea is very calm today, and it's a moonless night. So that those are good signs for for squid fishing. I hope we catch squids today. The reason why there are squids here because this spot over here is so extremely deep and the squids come out from the deep water at night they're nocturnal they come at night to feed on these minnows I don't know if you can see them but those that little fish is everywhere right now and they come out to feed on this so I think I think I think we're gonna have some good fish today, some good squids. Let's see if we can catch something today. This is the lure I'm using. I'm using a green one this time. I have the blue one, but I'm gonna try to use the green one. It's barbless. That means you have to keep constant pressure after you feel the bite in order to catch the squid. Let's see if we can. I'm gonna turn the light a little bit down. I don't know if that's bothering them, they don't like the light. But I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Let's see if that's gonna make any difference.
Good morning everyone. It's actually 2.30 a.m. right now and I am after a squid. That's why I'm coming very early in the morning. Sea is very calm. It's a moonless night tonight. So we should have some squids today. And enjoy the video. Okay guys, those are the squids that we caught earlier this morning. And now it's time to clean them up and make a delicious meal out of them. All right, okay. What I'm gonna do first is basically just grab the squid and insert the knife like this. And just cut it all the way through. And then we'll grab the head and just remove the whole thing completely so you don't get any um, ink on your meat. And then just put this on the side. And this is what I want. Just clean it up. Get this weird plastic piece out. Just clean it up well. And this is the piece of meat you're looking for. I'm also going to remove the skin. There's, I think if we just do this. Just grab the skin. Remove it. I'm going to clean up these fins too. They, they taste the best. It's kind of, not kind of, it's very slimy. So it's kind of hard to remove the skin, but uh, we'll do it. I have some uh, I filled up this cooler with seawater just to rinse it in seawater remove all the skin and and if there is any ink on it or anything just clean it up this is what you're looking for nice white meat and I'm gonna clean up the fins too and do the rest of the squids and I will get back with you. This is what I'm looking for, this white meat. I'm gonna remove the skin off of these fins, clean up the rest of the squid, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, this is the meat, those are the fins. There is some uh, cartilage in the fins. You could remove that. Give it, it'll give you a cleaner taste. And this is going to be all the heads and the inners are going to be uh, crabs dinner. Uh, let's cut this apart and get ready to eat. Because last time I made squids, they were good, but they were kind of chewy. I'm gonna try to do something different too. This is the pressure cooker. I have a small pressure cooker. I'm gonna put all this meat in there. I've got some onions, garlic, tomatoes, and I'm gonna mix them all together, close it, let it cook for 20 minutes, and then I think it's gonna be delicious. But I'll let you know. Okay guys, this is the meat. This is the squid meat. I've got some tomatoes onions and garlic. I put some olive oil in the pot. I'm going to put the garlic in first or try to grab the garlic from here. Put it in there. Let the oil warm up. And then I'm going to add the squid. Just let it sit for no longer than five, five to three minutes. Put the garlic in here and let it sit for two minutes and then add the squid mix it up for two minutes and then add the tomatoes spices salt and then maybe I'll add a little bit of water hot water and then close it and then give it 20 minutes and then it will be ready okay okay guys it's been less than two minutes and the oil is already 
getting hot. I don't want the olive oil to smoke. It's not gonna taste good if it starts smoking. So I'm, I'm gonna add the squitter on here. for another two minutes then add the onion two minutes add the tomatoes spices close it and then we'll be ready to eat and we'll add the spices just give it a mix I have some water over here it's warming up you don't really need water, but um, I turned the fire all the way up because I want, I'm want i hungry, I want to eat. So I'm going to add a little bit of water so it gives it enough pressure to close the pressure cooker. For the last step, and this is optional, I'm going to add a hot pepper. This is really, really hot pepper, so I'm not going to open it, cut it or anything, I'm just going to put it all hoping that it's not going to get opened. Add my hot water and then just come over your spoon. Don't close it. Oh, let me just close the pot. And then just lock. I'm going to leave it on high heat as high as it goes until it starts releasing air and then gonna turn it halfway about on uh, and just let it cook on medium heat and it should be good it's been about five minutes and the valve is doing its job now I'm gonna turn it on medium heat and then my squids are gonna be ready in no time for calamari actually I just learned yesterday that squids are not are, are cold calamari in Italian so if you don't like squids maybe you should try calamari maybe you'll like it more